and now we can just basically save this as a PSD file. So if we save this as a PSD file, it will save it in layers so that if any time you want to come back in and open it back up, you'll be able to come back in and drop in different photos or change colors or text or anything like that. And to show you an example, I'm going to go ahead and grab my move tool. I'm going to click on my photo and we're just going to drop that out of here. So now what I want to do is grab another photo. So I have another photo here. I'm going to click, drag it up, drag it down and drop it. And right now we want to basically drop this in the box. So make sure it's above your rectangle box. Come up here to the pull down and create a clipping mask and that drops it in the box. Um, now the box is the wrong size. You can see the image is all here, but we need to change the box size. So what we're going to do is we're going to, when the box is highlighted, we're going to do a Command T to free transform, and we're going to drag this box out to, to catch the image. And here you can actually see where the green is coming through. So that is the reason why we use the green behind. So now I can just scoot the image down and the green's gone. So now we have the image and the box together. So I'm going to go ahead and do a click, highlight the rectangle box layer. And so I'm going to do command, click, do a right click and link those layers together too. So then we can sort of move those Si you know, together. Um, if we want to resize it, I'm going to actually drop the size down a little bit. So we're just going to bring that down a little bit. And that's basically our image inside the box. Now we can move the type, change locations on that. We can move this and you can already see how the, the problem we're having, we would have had if we had erased this. So I'm going to do a command T for treat free transform and basically bring this down a little bit just change the orientation a little bit. Now on this pretty much the swirls are not going to work at all. Um, I could color those out if I want to but something that's going to be easier is just grabbing this layer this is the just the, the first A and dropping that down just above the background layer and what that's going to do is drop it below the photo in the rectangle and hide it behind. So we're just going to do that to let it slip out of the way. Now we're going to come back over to this one and work on this a little bit. I'm going to actually free transform that again. Just pull it down a little bit. And I want to get this color back in. I, I, I do like how the little loop comes up over the top and the, the big part of the loop is underneath. So I'm going to click on that. Make sure you're highlighted or, or make sure your uh, mask is chosen. Go to the brush tool which is the letter B, and we can start painting. So we, we do want to paint this the other way, though. We want to do this in black so that it hi hides it. So we toggled back to black, and then we're going to basically just come in here and color that out again. And we can get in here and, and get in here real tight again, do a real sharp, brush, sharp small brush, and we'll be able to toggle back to the white and just basically color that back in a little bit just to get it where we want it. We can go back and forth until we get it exactly what we're looking for. So that does that. Um, now you might think, well, everything's off color wise. So let's go ahead and bring the colors to red. So we can basically take our reds, grab our text tool and just click on it. Go to the color grabber and just grab a red. So we've got our red. And basically we can come to the other the other letter and do the same thing. Just highlight it. Whoops, I added a letter. I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Highlight it and choose red. So now we've got our reds in here. Um, now what we can do is actually go in and grab the effects with a stroke. So double click over on the rectangle layer, hit stroke and basically hit the color and you can go back in and grab the red. So now you've changed this completely, gotten it, from, taken it from one image to another in just a matter of a minute possibly. Uh, you know, once you have it all down, you can go in and switch it, you can change the type and pretty much do whatever you want. Um, and that's why we do a lot of things in layers and save them that way so that we have the option to go back in and edit later and use this for something else that we'd like to use it for. So hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, 
just shoot me a, a comment on the on YouTube, and I'll be happy to answer anything I can for you. Uh, and let me know how you liked it. Uh, if you're interested, please subscribe. Thanks so much.